This is in your notes, weekly activities. Number one, training. Here at Secret, we have courses and classes called Secret University. It's a little bit different than your traditional university program. We have a lot of fun. <laughs> because it's self-education. Why? Because it's in a business that you're in teaching you how to become wealthy where you can earn while you learn. Traditionally, when you go to school, you borrow money from friends, family, neighbors, federal government to go study a course for three, five, ten years to graduate with no certainty if there'll be a position available in that career field. Here at Secret University, very different. You get to earn while you learn along the process, and when you graduate from our program and you follow the steps consistently over a period of time and you become a professional in this company, in this industry, just like going to school or learning a trait would make you a profession in any industry. The difference is when you graduate here, there's no certainty of if there's a position available. You're already at the top of the compensation plan. So freedom is already there at the end of graduation. You don't graduate with debt, you graduate with a six-figure income. How many of you guys like that idea? Yeah. Okay. So plug in and stay consistent. We have weekly events in most of the major marketplaces. And if you don't have a weekly event, then get online and get yourself trained weekly online. Some of you guys are like, well, it's the same, the same training. Watch it again. Watch it again. Write this down. Spaced repetition is the mother of all skill. Spaced repetition is the mother of all skill. How we learn anything is by watching and studying it over and over and over and over and over. Got it. It's not one and done. That's not how it works. You don't go to one training and be like, that's it. I'm good. That's like saying, I'm going to take one shower. I'm good. If you don't take a shower for a while, what starts to happen? Stink. You start to stink. If you don't get trained consistently, your business starts to, yeah. But the worst thing about this business is the fact that people expect results without training. Now, in the beginning, the system should be good enough to help you move forward and get paid and promoted with very little knowledge other than the simple system that are in place. But to earn consistent and full-time income, obviously, that's going to take an education, yes? Yes. Now, not something crazy, but once a week, we're saying commit once a week to a live event or at a minimum, something that's training you weekly online about the profession you are in, which is network marketing. Absolutely. Also, the next thing you want to commit to is a weekly presentation. Not just a weekly training, but actually a weekly overview where you actually see a presentation done on the opportunity. Here's why. It's more for the agent than it is for the prospect. The weekly presentation resells us on being a part of what we're, being, what we're a part of. If you have a great week, that presentation needs you. If you have a bad week, you need the presentation. You go to the presentation, you get a chance to see other people that are having success. You get a chance to be around other people that are positive in the same environment. Now, here's the thing to understand, right? Every successful organization has a weekly presentation meeting, what do you want to call it? I don't care what any of your guys' religious views are, but like take Christianity, for example, right? It's been around for 2,000 years. Got over a billion followers. Started with this one guy, went really deep, a billion followers. <laughs> right? So understand, right? Like you got a billion people in that organization that's lasted a really long time. They have a weekly meeting, don't they? Yep. Now, here's what I can tell you for sure. These people, they get, they, they get together in this group. The pastor could come up, not even say a word, no sermon at all. People just get together and hang. And when they leave that environment, they feel better about what they're a part of, what we believe in, everything from that second on with no message. You just feel better because of the association. Now, the biggest thing to understand here is you want to get a part of that environment. Alcoholics Anonymous, I know this is one of the biggest things that, that we talked about before is this is a huge part, whether, you know, AA, right? In AA, what's interesting about it is you'll find people inside of that meeting that are completely wasted drunk, won't you? Yep. <laughs> Just I mean, at, in the meeting. You'll find people in that meeting that have been sober for a couple of days. The people that have been sober for 20 years. And this industry, this, this, you know, that, the, the weekly presentation, or the, this industry in general, right, it's almost like Brokeaholics Anonymous. <laughs> right? Now think about it, right? Are there people in the meeting that are just totally broke? Yeah. For sure. Are there people that have been able to hold, you know, catch their breath and, and get their finances in order for like a couple days? Hmm. Are there people that are completely financially secure, have been financially independent for years? For sure. What's so interesting, you actually, if you talk to somebody who's been in AA for a really long time, the two biggest reasons that they give you of why they're still there is very similar to the reasons why you see people that are industry leaders that are still in this industry. You ask the average person in AA that you've been sober for 20 years, why do you keep coming to these events? They give the same two answers. Number one, I never want to go back to where I came from. And number two, I love helping other people in their recovery. You get somebody here in the relationship marketing industry, somebody who's 
you know, made millions and millions and millions of dollars who's still in the game. Why are you still here? I never want to go back to where I came from, and I love helping other people in their recovery. That's what that's about. You get a chance to plug into this environment. I promise you, if you commit to it for yourself every single week, whether you have a good week, bad week, but make it like this, I don't let anything get in the way of my night. You know, we have them online Monday through Saturday. If you can't make it out to a live one in person, which I recommend, high touch, then in your environment where you, you don't have one live, get out to one online and pick your night and commit to it where you don't let anything get in the way of your night, where you go out there and you take notes and you hear the new speaker. And here's what I can promise you too. There's a new speaker on all different events. No one person will give you everything you need in this industry. Yep. What you'll learn how to do though is, is pick the best from everybody and take bits and pieces of the things that you like best in other people and then make it your own. You might, you know, Jesse does some things that are absolutely incredible. Just one of the best presenters I've ever seen. And some of his strengths, he blows me out of the water. Zach has strengths that I don't have. I have other strengths, right? And so you might be able to take things from me that I do really well, take things from Jesse that he does really well, take things from anybody you can think of and become the best you possible. That's your goal of why you want to commit to a weekly event. Obviously, it's better to not show up by yourself. Try your hardest to get guests on there, get prospects on there. But regardless of if you have a guest with you or not, you show up. Yep. Because your success in this business is not dependent on, well, if other people come with me, then I'm going to lead. That's not leadership. Leadership is I'm going here regardless of who comes or not. And watch people that fall in line to come participate in that. Also weekly, write this down. Wow parties have scheduled on a weekly basis. Now, I don't mean you're doing a weekly wow party for you and everybody you're inviting over. What I mean is that you're getting into other people's living rooms. Get into other people's living rooms. For a lot of different reasons, obviously we discuss the benefits of wow parties, but one of the main reasons why is where you develop the most relationships is in people's living rooms. Strangers are not in other people's homes. Friends and family are in other people's homes. And when you want to build an amazing culture and community is get to know the color of the carpet in your family's homes. Get to know their kids. When you know their kids' names, you know that we're connected. Clinton just got started in the business. And I know one of the biggest reasons why he's doing the business is his son, Ethan. And I know that. Why? Because we talked about it. I've been over at his house. I saw Ethan. He's a rock star. Now, I know that because I met him. I was in his house. I saw his pictures. I saw his graduation. Now we're connected in a different level. He's been in my home. I've been in his home. We're more than business partners at this point. We've gotten more on a friendship level. So get to know the color of the carpet. Get to know their pets. I met a pig one time. It was a pet at this guy's house. It was weird. <laughs> <laughs> one of the things that's so important, and I learned really from the Ben Shabbat family, and, and specifically Isaac, and I was like, how are you so open with people? Like, aren't you afraid of getting hurt? Because when you're open with so many people, you have the opportunity for people to hurt you. And he was like, you know what, Jess? You're absolutely right. And there are people that do hurt me because I'm open to everybody. And I said, but you know what? It's more rewarding for me to be open to find the real relationships and connections with people than it is for the few that end up hurting me and leaving. And when you open up and create those real relationships with the people in your organization, it's like it becomes more than a business. It becomes a community. It becomes a family. And the people here, how many guys have had an experience where the people here are like more family than some of your own blood family, yes? Okay. <laughs> and it's not that they're no longer your family. It's just you're connected here with them because you guys have a similar path. So, wow parties on a weekly basis. And then lastly, number four, the fourth weekly activity, conference calls. We have an organizational conference call as a company. We have our Sunday vision call. Connect to that every single week. You want to hear from the founders, the owners, the leadership, the information, the updates of what's happening. It's hard to know what's going on in your business when you don't know what's going on in your business. Leaders know first. So be the first to know what's happening inside of your business for two reasons. So you can know, but so you can translate it to your organization. Because people that won't be on the call, they need to get that info. You need to be the one that gets it to them. So you need to make sure you're leading, getting on that call on a Sunday basis. Now, your organization likely has some kind of conference calls that they do on a weekly basis too. Find out what they're doing. They may have some calls for specific reasons. Connect with those. Stay on those. Stay committed and listen. Because I can tell you, there are people that have been there, done that, got the t-shirt. They've gone through every challenge experience you've ever gone through inside of this industry that are sharing with you the tips, the nuggets, the wisdom, just the gold on what you need to do to create this, and they're dishing it out on a weekly basis, and some of you aren't there to collect it. So the gems are being dropped. You just got to be on the call to pick them up. So stay connected with your weekly calls. So just to recap, on a weekly basis, number one, training. Secret universities. Stay connected. Get your education. Number two, a presentation a week. Learn the presentation. 
Number three, wow parties. And number four, conference calls. Stay connected with those. Those are your weekly activities. 